here currently packing up a little lunch to go on a hike. Got some quinoa, black beans, peas, lettuce, avocado. Gonna be great. So we're heading out on this little loop of a hike with a bunch of waterfalls and a bridge and a lake. And yeah, a lot of people, it's a pretty popular spot apparently, but we're gonna go check it out. It's probably a three and a half mile loop at most, or maybe exactly. So let's see what it's like. <laughs> One really nice thing so far being in the Upper Peninsula is the constant breeze coming off the lake. It's like air conditioning up here. Beautiful but dangerous. Could describe many things. Time on the rocks. Well, she got a bad rap. Twelve thousand gallons a second. I got it. Only the brown cinnamon slash like tobacco smells really good. Huh. Big ol' hemlock. That's another thing. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, hi. Look at them holding hands. <laughs> what are you two up to? Nothing. Thought I heard a bird making some sort of call around here. A terror bird sits on her nest, made from the large stump of a hemlock. elevated off the trail. What do you all think these are? Parasitic worms or something for the tadpoles? Hold on, look at next to your mother. Hold on. Dang. Tell me if you can see anyone in here. Uh, no. Zoom in. I did. <laughs> Let me show you. It's like the tiniest turtle ever. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at all this lichen. Looks like lizard skin. <laughs> Little bird. Where is she going? that bridge and head back to camp. You can see the river we've been seeing all the waterfalls on right there. And if you go this way, you can see where the lake is. And this kind of looks like where the river meets the lake. Churning and burning. Lights. Uper lights, which there are rocks. Are rocks up here with some sort of mineral in them or something that reflects or glows a bright orange when you have a UV light? So we're trying to, or a black light. We're trying to find those. We have no idea what we're looking for, but apparently it's a thing and we're trying. Mm -hmm. Eating yellow oatmeal Collecting thanks to the tumor. Zero solar. <laughs> yeah, zero solar input or a tiny bit, but like one watt. not much. And I lost, but not again. We'll see. Cut to the time lapse. <laughs> Quite the innovative family here. Presque Isle campground. We had a good time. Last night there were a lot of people coughing, which yeah. was disconcerting. So <laughs> disconcerting. <laughs> uh, it mean, felt like a sick far house. Enough away, but yeah, it's not like we're in the infirmary. So we are opting to not use the bathrooms this morning, and we're That's heading really deeper, loud. deeper into the park for some more hiking. But first, we're gonna drop off our trash and recycling. Okay, so the place we explored all the trail hiking we did is this tiny little corner of the park. And we are getting ready to head deeper into the park and explore Summit Peak 
and then potentially go all the way up and around through the park over towards Lake of the Clouds. And we're going to do the encampment trail, which is supposed to be pretty beautiful too. We'll see what happens. The encampment looks like escarpment. The escarpment trail, obviously. <laughs> We're getting ready to head up to Summit Peak. Got some sneaky rooftop solar going. Hopefully no one has too much interest in it. And yeah, it's a pretty popular spot apparently. So we're gonna wear our masks today even though we're outside because Delta's rampant. the lake. All right, that was a bit overcrowded and kind of meh, but still looked nice to get out and hike. But now we're going to head to the other side of the park and check out the Escarpment Trail. Hopefully, Escarpment Trail? Escarpment Trail. Hopefully it'll be a little cooler. We'll see. I think it's closer to the lake at least. And a few of you actually suggested it, so if it sucks, we're going to come and find get you. Don't get you. Get Well, we're taking a little side detour to a potential waterfall. Let's see. So this used to be the site of an old copper mine, the Nunsuch Copper Mine. Nunsuch like it. There are some old foundations. There they are. It's a nice little swimming hole. Well, well, well. Swim How beautiful, Lake Superior. Do it serious. So that is an Olympic training ski jump on top of a mountain. Pretty cool. So this is Lake of the Clouds, not the New Hampshire one. We're heading out on the escarpment trail. Ooh, okay. Oh. oh, that's pretty. This reminds me of the Wind River Range, just seeing like a winding river coming down into a lake or pond. It's beautiful. Just over there is Lake Superior, but I don't think we're gonna get to see it, unfortunately. Look at these tiny little blueberry bushes. I bet they're like dried up a little bit. Beep, beep. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a little dried up. There's like room for one seed. I'm gonna find a real one. Does anyone watching know what these are? I would kind of guess mountain cranberry, but I don't actually know. It's got a little red berry, kind of waxy leaves. Let us know in the comments if you know. All right, we're back to the trailhead. And check out the little sunlight sibling sitting down the road. It's a little bit larger than ours. So we're on the side of the road and there's an old abandoned copper mine shaft. And it says that there are a lot of bats that come out of here. Interesting. found this little national forest campground which is apparently free looks like it's a really nice site nice and level there's a table and a fire pit and a river nearby what more could you want Today for dinner, tonight, today, tonight, we're having leftover soup, vegetable soup that Tara made when we were at the wedding. Kindly called compost soup to not let anything go to waste. You just get all your vegetables that are getting a little weird. And this actually was a salsa base, weirdly enough, which I have not done before, but it worked. Mm -mm. 